Sector rotation analysis attempts to link current strengths and weaknesses in the stock market with the general business cycle. Once you have identified the strong and weak sectors, you can then compare the results to a theoretical business cycle chart and, hopefully, determine the part of the business cycle the market is in. That information, in turn, may help you predict which sectors will strengthen in the coming weeks and months. The graph on the screen shows the idealized business cycle and the intermarket relationships during a normal inflationary environment. This cycle map is based on one shown in the Intermarket Review by Martin J. Pring, www.pring.com. The business cycle is shown as a sine wave. The first three stages are part of an economic contraction, which are weakening, bottoming and strengthening. Stage 3 shows the economy in a contraction phase, beginning to strengthen after a bottom. As the sine wave crosses the center line, the economy moves from contraction to the three phases of economic expansion, which are strengthening, topping and weakening. Stage 6 shows the economy in an expansion phase, starting to weaken after a top. Stage 1 shows the economy contracting and bonds turning up as interest rates decline. Economic weakness favors loose monetary policy and the lowering of interest rates, which is bullish for bonds. Stage 2 marks a bottom in the economy and the stock market. Even though economic conditions have stopped deteriorating, the economy is still not at an expansion stage or actually growing. However, stocks anticipate an expansion phase by bottoming before the contraction period ends. Stage 3 shows a vast improvement in economic conditions as the business cycle prepares to move into an expansion phase. Stocks are rising and commodities are anticipating an expansion phase by turning up. Stage 4 marks a period of full expansion. Both stocks and commodities are rising. But bonds turn lower because the expansion increases inflationary pressures. To combat this, interest rates start to move higher. Stage 5 marks a peak in economic growth in the stock market. Even though the expansion continues, the economy grows at a slower pace because rising interest rates and rising commodity prices take their toll. Stocks anticipate a contraction phase by peaking before the expansion actually ends. Commodities remain strong and peak after stocks. Stage 6 marks a deterioration in the economy as the business cycle prepares to move from an expansion phase to a contraction phase. Stocks have already been moving lower and commodities now turn lower in anticipation of decreased demand from the deteriorating economy. Keep in mind that this is the ideal business cycle in an inflationary environment. Stocks and bonds advance together in stages 2 and 3. Similarly, both decline in stages 5 and 6. This would not be the case in a deflationary environment, when bonds and stocks would move in opposite directions.